Hi guys, so we're going to have a little short video here on uh, priming because um, there's uh, a lot of conflicting uh, views I think on uh, on priming uh, generally um, but I use uh, two different sorts uh, Vallejo surface primer this is a acrylic uh, polyurethane or alternatively I use Steinal res, uh, which I think is uh, Badger's own um, make. So again, uh, acrylic polyurethane. So you know, a lot of different uh, thoughts on what colours to use, and uh, basically, I use uh, three different colours. Um, so white uh, when I'm actually using uh, lighter colours like reds and yellows uh, for example uh, grey when I'm uh, just using the sort of mid-tones so your your blues and greys uh, etc and finally black uh, and really um, black for those dark colors or where you want to create shadows underneath so uh, your top top coat paint so for example um, if you're doing panel lines on an airplane um, then that certainly uh, helps to just darken those shadows um, underneath. So just an example of what I mean here with uh, panel lines. So this is off a spacecraft as it happens, not, not trains related, but you can see here I've actually done a gray primer and then uh, put a uh, dark black primer in terms of the, the panel lines. And uh, what that'll do is to make sure that those panel lines are well defined uh, when the top coats are, are actually put on. And I think another thing to to bear in mind here as well is when spraying, uh, I see a lot of stuff on the forums and internet so saying well I'm spraying acrylic so I don't need to wear a mask or use a spray booth or whatever else and uh, that's a complete fallacy. You know your airbrush is atomizing particles and it's particles of paint so even if it's acrylics, you should be wearing a mask. I'm not talking about wearing a uh, paper mask that you buy for cents. Uh, you know, you need a proper mask um, and a spray booth really to vent your uh, vapors. Um, something really of the, the standard to, that you, you use in uh, asbestos removal. So really, you're looking at, uh, at something like this. Um, sorry, I just pan out a little bit. Something like this which uh, you know you could change these uh, filters on on either side and yeah it's a bit more expensive maybe 30 or 40 dollars but you know what price your health right so um, believe me if you're going to be spraying anything you're atomizing particles particles are not supposed to be going in your lungs the fact that it's acrylic uh, is kind of irrelevant so um, that's my uh, health and safety tip for the day so interesting um, what I'm going to do as an example here is uh, spray one of these Walther's uh, loading uh, platforms and um, you know interestingly what we're going to do here is use uh, two different types of uh, primer uh, sorry two different colors the same type so I'm going to use uh, uh, black for the superstructure but obviously these uh, walkways the gang planks and the railings and the surround at the top that's actually going to be yellow in the final version and the unloading pipes at the bottom these are going to be white so therefore I'm actually going to sp uh, prime those uh, in uh, white so uh, I don't know if you've considered that before but you know just going outside with a rattle can and dumping gray or black primer on everything you know is, is not really going to help you in the in the overall finished product um, so on this product, I'm going to spray um, two different uh, two different colours. So for this demonstration, I'm using my uh, kind of go-to favourite uh, Patriot uh, 105, which is a good all-round uh, um, airbrush. Um, you know, uh, as if you've seen my previous videos, I have four or five airbrushes. You know, mostly for different things. But the one I keep coming back to all the time is this one in terms of you know it works really well hugely reliable you know never had a leak and um, never really had it clogged up um, uh, it's 
beautiful in terms of uh, control, easy to clean, and uh, Badger uh, after sales service and support is uh, frankly second to none. And of course, any parts that you want for uh, any of their airbrushes are always uh, readily available. So, in terms of uh, mixing the, uh, I'm also using uh, Airbrush Flow Improver again. This is a Vallejo. Uh, 71.562 just a couple of drops and what this does is stops the uh, paint drying on the tip of your airbrush on the tip of the needle so it gives you a little bit more uh, room to play with a little bit more time and just makes it a lot smoother so even though I'm spraying primer here I'm still using uh, airbrush flow improver so four drops of uh, flow improver and uh, you can see in there uh, the rest of the uh, Primer. I'm just going to prime up the first colour. I'm not going to uh, show you me, me doing that at this point because the uh, uh, booth is uh, noisy and so is the uh, compressor. So uh, back in just a sec. But as we can see here with this first uh, pass with the black, we got enough control with the Patriot to actually uh, just spray the uh, uh, darker pieces uh, black. And then we come in later with the, the, for the yellow handrails and spray those pieces. Uh, yellow but again you know you've got enough control you don't have to spray bomb the whole thing you know you can be very specific in terms of you know which parts of the model you're going to spray you got a little bit of overlay obviously because that pipe here is running behind the uh, main stanchion but ultimately you can still see you have uh, you know plenty of control so once we get our black stain now for the, uh, the metal pieces we're now going to uh, replace uh, the black primer in your airbrush with the uh, white. Obviously, uh, we need to flush it through first. And what I use is this uh, Medea airbrush cleaner. Um, certainly, you can use things like uh, Windex or just plain water. I do that uh, sometimes as well. Um, but you know, if you want a long lasting uh, airbrush, uh, you know. Uh, I would still prefer to use that Medea stuff in most cases because it just does a really good job. So we got our uh, white uh, polyurethane acrylic uh, primer in here now, and uh, again uh, three or four drops of uh, flow improver, and we're ready to uh, spray the white bits. Ultimately what we have here then is, you know, a two-tone primed uh, base unit. Again, we're not looking for perfection here, and you can have some overspill. You notice it didn't actually mask anything off. Uh, we'll do this all by freehand, and it just takes a bit of practice and having your airbrush set up uh, well. But even to see the unloading pipe there, focus. You can see that we were able to pick that one out because you know, ultimately that's going to be white in terms of the piping so uh, yeah hope that uh, helps uh, in the second part of this I'll show you the uh, hand painting it and the uh, ultimately the finished uh, article hope that's been useful cheers for now